Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number 10 of my Building a Nation Challenge series here on Football Manager 2020. And today, guys, we've got just the one game for you. We are playing Guwahati in the league. It's the final game of the league season. But I need to win it to keep my job. I keep getting messages in the press that if we don't win this game, we are going to be getting the sack. So let's see what has led us to this position we find ourselves in. You was with us last for the double header, Kerala in the league. And then we played against uh, Tajikistan with the Indian national team. And so we lost that game against Kerala. And then Chennai, we beat them two goals to one. And Minu Mohamed, who we've got on loan again for next season from Man City. So that's very nice to see. He got a couple of goals for us there. And then East Bengal, one all draw. And Minu Mohamed again with the goal there. But then against Goa, we lost. That game was not a Goa for us. We did very, very poorly in that one. So that leads us to where we find ourselves right now. We are 8th in the league. The highest we can get is 7th. And that's only if we get a better result than Mo and Baggin get. We need to win and hope that Mo and Baggin lose. So yeah, going to be a bit difficult. But also the other thing making me think I might be getting the sack. My confidence summary from the board is at an E. And the most disappointing bit is the board are disappointed with, disappointed with a lack of progress made towards realising the club's vision. And so if we have a look at the club vision, we're doing okay for the wage budget, but everything else they're not really happy with. So yeah, we really, really need a win today. So let's go and get right into it. We've got Subra Apple in goal, Bose at left back. Jingen and Gurdjic are our centre-back pairing. Galoy is back in at right-back. And then in the middle of the park, we've got Fernandes, Nemecha and Borges. And then on the wings, we've got a bit of an injury crisis going on there. Rafik comes in for Daxin and Murphy on the left-hand side. And Diego Carlos comes in for DiMaggio Wright-Phillips, who has played his last game for us. We tried to get him on loan for next year. Man City accepted it, but he rejected it. So he's going to go back to England for next season. But Aminu Mohamed is still up top for us. And he's going to be up top for us next year as well. And so how many goals has he got? He's got eight goals from 12 starts. So that's very, very nice to see. And then on the bench, we've got... Got Amrinder Singh, is that his name? Yes, it is. Well done, Spen. Remembering my own players' names. And then Chakraborty, Machado, the Brazilian Ronaldo, Anwar Ali, Chowdhury, and Singh make up the bench. And so let's go and have a look at the match preview. What are the bookmakers saying? They've made us the favourites. Interesting. So we're the favourites despite Guwahati being in better form and us not having beaten Guwahati as of yet. So we really, really need to get a win here. Let's go back to that and then let's go and crack on with the game. Come on, Mumbai! Here we are on game day and you can see Guwahati are going with a 4-2-3-1 with defensive midfielders there as opposed to our 4-3-3. Hopefully we can get some joy out of maybe in the middle of the park. You never know. So let's go dressing room and let's go ask me assistant and he's actually done something. He's actually set instructions for people. Wow. That's, that's sort of stopped me in my tracks. And now let's go. We owe Guwahati after what happened in the last game. And most of the people are motivated. And so prediction time. You know what? Big game. I'm feeling confident. 2-0 us. Come on, Mumbai. 
And now here we are, both teams just warming up there and the game is underway. Five minutes in, not a whole lot is happening as of yet. We've had 55% of the ball so far apparently, not anymore we haven't. If we could get a highlight sometime soon that would be nice. And apparently my wish is FM's command, but Guwahati have the lead from the corner ball. Sovic Goss with their header and oh my gosh we're behind that is a dreadful start to the game Chavez with it crossed it in Goss with the header and wow poor keeping there from Subrata Paul if I'm gonna be honest and now what are we almost 20 minutes in and it's them again with another highlight it's unpronounceable. I cannot pronounce that name, but oh my days, I thought Guwahati were 2 0 up then, but thankfully that one was offside. And now let's have another look at it. It's, it's a man with an unpronounceable name there, crossing it in, but Tiang put the ball in the back of the net, but he was in an offside position. And it's another Guwahati highlight, and we've just about got the ball away there. And Guwahati are all over us here. What on earth is going on? Chavez now with the ball. Crosses it in. Jingen heads away. And that ball is going to go out for a throw in. And do I make some kind of early change here? I'm going to give it a shout just early doors. Let's go get creative. And everybody is pretty much inspired by that. But can that lead to us getting a highlight? Guwahati have had five shots so far. Two are two. Paul goes wide. And now Rafik with it. Into Nemecha. Into Fernandez, And he goes over the top. But they head it away. But can we get this back? No, we can't. Chavez, two holder. And now can we get this back away, please? Here we go. Galoy to Gurdjic. Back to Galoy. He goes long over the top. And Mohamed Jin, if he can get onto this ball. And oh, carry on running, son. Oh, that was half a chance there. But Guwahati have the ball back with their keeper. And this highlight is still going on. Kadam with it. And Galoy intercepts. And now can he get Mohamed in? He's tried there. Mohamed, he is. He's past the defence. He's into the box. He suits and it's saved there by Landau for what is going to be our second corner of the game. Not that we're going to see it. And now another highlight, almost straight away. Tiang with it. Is he going to cross the ball in? Oh, that's a bad foul there from Bose. Bose is lucky to get away with that one. And now, now what is it? Ten minutes to go until half-time. Chavez with the ball, crosses it in. And Goss with another header. But this time Paul gets it over. And we need to survive to half time. So we can make some changes. Chavez with the corner. From the left hand side. Crosses it in. It gets headed away. And now Haldar with it. He tries to cross it but it gets blocked. Mohamed gets it for us on the counter attack. And we make a hass out of doing anything there. And that ends that particular highlight. I'm going to go demand more, see what that can do for the lads. And then, like I say, when we get to half-time, I might push our defensive line a little bit higher. That is what I'm thinking right now. And so, let's go dressing room. And so, yeah, tactics. Let's have a look at what tactics have we got set up here. Yeah, we've got lower line of engagement. And so, yeah, not higher defensive line and a standard line of engagement. Uh, higher tempo. And I think leave everything like that. Yeah. Yeah, everything else seems pretty good. So now let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, show me something else in the second half. Most people are motivated. Uh, let's, try, let's try and see if we can get the attack motivated as well. Nope, nothing there. Okay, so. Come on, a draw. I would love a draw at least. That would be nice. And now five minutes into the second half. 
It's Guati with their first highlight. Jingen with the ball. He goes long, but only to absolutely nobody in a white shirt. And now it's Ludo. Goes wide. And, oh, that's curled back in. And Kadam's got the ball. He crosses it, but only behind him. And now it goes to Tiang, who again goes out wide. Kadam's going to have a second attempt at this. And can we get this back? Yes, we do. Well done, Galoy. And now Mohamed needs to run. Why is he taking his sweet time? Gurgic heads that long pass away. Fernandez to Bose. Over the top he goes. But again, maybe might need to put someone alongside Mohamed. Oh, here we go. Mohamed's got the deflection there. He's got the ball. He's into the box. Takes the shot on and that was awful. Come on, son. You can do better than that and you know it. And now, what are we? Ten minutes into the second half. You know what? I am going to put someone alongside Mohamed. Uh, Nemecha, you're... Nemecha, you're a foreigner, aren't you? Yeah, you're German. So, if I put you up there, I can take you off for Ronaldo. And let's see what that can do for us, yeah? Come on, half an hour left. Surely we can get back into this game. We have had five shots to their eight. Four on target to their six. We need to get back into this. I can see this being the end of my time here. Come on, 20 minutes left. Come on, boys. Mohamed with the free kick. We've done this in. Oh, I thought that was in. But nope, just that much wide. Now, any other subs we want to think about making? Possibly Machado? Maybe, but I don't know who we can bring him on for. Borges is Indian, as is Fernandez. Hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe put Chakraborty on on the left. Let's try that. I'm willing to try anything now to get us, get us anything back into this game. Now, shots are getting a little bit more even. Nine shots to their 11. Five on target to their eight. Oh, it's just not going to happen, is it, boys? Let's go, Salts. If this is going to let us, yep. Let's go, Demar Moore. We've gone very attacking. And now, come on, just one chance. That's all I want. And now, Guwahati with the throwing. Goss to Holder. And Goss, just on the halfway line, goes all the way back to his keeper. And Landetta with it there, just taking his sweet time. He goes long. And now Jingen to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with it, into Fernandez. And now what can Fernandez do? Mohamed, he's in. He's gone for the shot and it's been saved there. Oh, you feel that was a chance, didn't you? I think that may have been our one and only opportunity. But now Diego with the corner. And Holdar heads it away. Fernandez two Borges with the shot. And it's in. What a goal that is. Rolling Borges might just keep us rolling here in India. With only his second goal of the season. And what a thunderbolt this is. Look at this. Borges turned and his second touch smacked the ball past the keeper. And now, is it too much to ask for to try and win the game now? Tamang with the ball goes long and we do get it back. Bose plays it out wide and Chakra Ball, he's been fouled there. That is a blatant red card. Bye bye, Mr. Vaz. You can go and have a quite early sour. And now, are we going to get another chance? It's not looking like it, is it, boys and girls? No! Ah! That's quite frustrating. 1-1 one, one draw. 13 shots to their 14. 9 on target to their 8. Two clear-cut chances we had, and they had none. But they had slightly more of the ball. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Let's go passing up. Uh, I don't know, I want to say I'm far from happy. And that's fired up most of the guys. 
But now, let's see. Am I still in a job? Please let me still be in a job. Please, please, please. As apparently Crystal Palace have avoided relegation back in the Premier League. So they live to fight another year. Ah, oh, here we go. Finally, the game is saving. It's taken about two minutes to do that. And the longer it's taken, the more nervous I've been getting. Am I still in a job? It looks like it. It does look like I am still in a job for now. And so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Postmax press conference. Send my assistant. I think if they was going to sack us, I'd have been sacked already, wouldn't I? When's my contract up? Uh, 2021. So I've got another year. And so we're just going to carry on clicking for a few days. But I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh God, look at this. Record low number of wins. Low, well, record low number of league defeats as well. So that's quite, that's quite decent. Record low number of league draws. So we've broken all kind of records here, apparently. But we've only scored 22 goals. That I need to work on for next season. And a record low points total. How have I still got my job? How have they not sacked us if we've broken all these records for lowest points, lowest this and lowest that? Maybe because it was a Sunday? Maybe, maybe that's it? I'm clutching at straws now. But, uh, ooh. well, I'm being given a club vision and expectations meeting. So, while we're doing that, let's just have a look at the end of season awards. Jingen got player of the season. Mikado got goal of the season. What goal was that? Let's see if this is going to load up. And let us have a look at this. And just get in there any second now. And yep, come on. Come on, any time you like. Here we go. Ah, Mikado's free kick. Not a bad choice. Out of, out of only 22 goals... I would, I'll probably go for that one myself as well. And so, signing of the season is Jingen as well. And then, young player of the season is Daxina Murphy. And then, season review. Uh, Mumbai is expected to emerge from a clutch of mid-table outfits to push their way into an impressive finishing position. Well, we didn't quite manage that, did we? And so, club vision, what they want for next season. Become recognised as best of the West, best of the, best of the rest... Well, be hard, be hard to be better than the West. We're not in the West, are we? And so, top half in the ISL they want as well. And then season after that, they want us to be challenging for the league title. You know what? I think that's all doable. So, we'll go accept that current vision. We'll go squad dynamics update. And ooh, dressing room atmosphere, poor. That's not good. And then a team meeting. Uh, let's go and do this before I let you go. Uh, duh, 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 top half next year. And yep, everyone's happy with that. That's very good. And so, injury report. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, guys. So, it looks like we're keeping me job. So, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. And please let me know if you've enjoyed this more un un unedited style. The reason I'm doing it is that at some point in early May, I'm going to be doing a 12-hour charity stream. So I want to try and get a little bit better at talking all the way through games and do, just doing more, just doing more un, unedited sort of stuff. And so the details for that charity stream will be announced on Twitter at some point. It's going to be for Crohn's and Colitis UK. Which is a charity very near and dear to me. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for all the details there. And please do let me know if you have enjoyed this different style of the episode today. And if you want more FM20 content, please subscribe to the channel down below. We've got this series, the Kingsland Walks to Prem Save, which is getting so exciting now. We're in League 2 for the first time in Kingsland's history. 
The next episode in that will be out Thursday. Can't wait for that. And we've got the Real Madrid a Pez 20 Classic League series and the FM 20 Five Years On series. Both of them two will be out tomorrow. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming where you can get all the news on the channel. Check out all the other Passion for FM lads and check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter, and the Facebook. Check out all that good stuff down below. And yep, guys, have a good day. I shall see you tomorrow for the Real Madrid and the five years on. See you later. Bye.